Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games, my name is Simon. Today we're looking at Animals Gathering. Now this is from the UK Games Expo 2023 and you can find it at Spiel Essen 2023 as well. This is actually being filmed so it'll go live just a day or so before the event kicks off over in Spiel and Essen. And this particular game, it's about 20 to 40 minutes to play. It is for two to five players, ages eight plus, by Wonderful World Board Games. Not to be confused with Wonder Bow. There's some dice, we are looking to deal with some dark magic. There's some wonderful inlays going on here. And in terms of look, this seems to be probably the game in terms of artwork for me at Expo 2023 at UK Games Expo. Now, check out my various playlists, such as the Amass Games playlist, the Essen playlist, also the uh, Expo playlist as well, the UK GE one. Also check out various other playlists such as this. This is going in the unboxing, teaser, trailer, preview, overview video playlist. And as you can see, this is a crystal forest, a magical kingdom home to mighty creatures that was once teeming with life. And it looks as if, just so you're aware, to get into this, you might actually need to uh, use scissors or a knife or something. And it looks like I might be able to get into this as well. As you can see, some ginormous cards. These are 14 centimeters high by nine centimeters across. And what you'll be doing is basically rolling dice, dealing with that dark magic and seeing how you can get on. So let me move this out of so so shot slightly. Now there's another game called Rubber, Paper, Scissors. And as you can see, you've got some very crazy looking shapes going on here. So there have been daily videos for the last five or so years. Please make sure you like, subscribe and the notification bell. And I'll let you know in the comments as best in YouTube as well, of course, in this setup plan review video. So you want to see how to set up plan review video. It'll be live some point in the next uh, few weeks. And again, I'll be talking to you about my thoughts and comparison to other games of its type. I think it's going to go in the family weight playlist as well. You can also check other stuff out, such as photos of this over on Instagram. So please head over there. As you can see, these are fairly small pieces. But what you're going to be doing is matching up these shapes to what is on here too. Now, like I said, I look forward to checking out the other games by this publisher. There's a few games that do seem to have caught my eye. Partially, I think, due to the artwork. Partially due to what the gameplay is about. But these animals, they've been extinct and beyond us mages, the only movement allowed in this now desolate world is the clouds overhead, ocean tides and river currents. And of course, wind blowing through the trees. We're now going to go forth, gather those magic stones, like I mentioned, of the forest and arrange them according to the end the indexes of the now lost animals found within our bleakness. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of stuff to punch. And as I said, it's quite small pieces, so I'm going to take my time. It definitely seems like it's one per player. We can have a quick look at these cards. Trying to sleeve this will be a bit of an interesting thing. Uh, these are pretty thick cards, about 350 GSM. A nice linen finish, which is fairly standard. And yeah, as you can see, we're trying to get those various shapes, placing these pieces on there. As you can see, something like this. And of course, then you can get some victory points and win the game. So that's pretty much an overview, that overview teaser trailer, something coming to the channel soon. That is Animals Gathering by Wonderful World Board Games. But for now, back to the table. Of course, do listen to the podcast. There's loads of stuff on there too. There's some other cards I can quickly show you as well. Also head through to that Instagram, Facebook join discussion, and also the occasionally competitions by Linktree, but they are time sensitive so they do disappear. So please head back over there as well. Aside from that, you can support the channel via Patreon. But for now, here we go, back to the table.